channel how's everybody doing i hope you guys are doing amazing happy one year anniversary to you to me to the channel i've been doing youtube for a whole year well actually the day that this comes out it's the 8th and i posted my first video on march 9th of 2020 what a freaking year i i can't believe that i've made it this far to be honest and i just kind of wanted to make this video more for like in an inspired inspiring way to inspire you to keep going to see that it's possible and that you can do it and you can make it i want to talk about how i got monetized because i got monetized i if you're new to my channel you wouldn't know this but i got monetized seven months into my youtube journey and i am extremely grateful and extremely proud i also have a couple of videos that have done amazingly well on my channel um and i just want to give you some tips and what i have learned in this one year of doing youtube i no, I am not a big you like a big youtuber. I'm pretty small right now, but you know what? I where am I gonna be in a year from now? You know what I'm saying? I also can't wait to do a whole video on a year of being monetized. Um, I think that would be an amazing video just so you guys can see what a year of being monetized is like. Um, I will go over how much I have made and like this year, I guess, off of YouTube, just so you guys can get an idea. I know a lot of you, if you're watching this video, you probably are doing YouTube and are probably trying to get monetized or you are already monetized congratulations congratulations you know um but yeah i just kind of want to sit down and talk to you guys i am so freaking excited and so grateful so blessed i love you guys so freaking much like it's insane um i started my youtube channel on actually well i started doing everything on fit in february i started doing my intro i got all my equipment which as far as equipment i literally just got a camera which is the sony I'm trying to see what camera this is um um, I don't know what camera this is Sony something something 55100 I don't know David picked it out for me my boyfriend he is actually a photographer so he knows a little bit about cameras my camera was around $500 I want to say um so I actually have a whole list of everything that I got for my YouTube so I got a hard drive which was six dollars um i also got a sd card which was 23 dollars i got a tripod that was 30 dollars and i got my camera which is the sony a5100 if you were wondering and it was 600 600 dollars it was 600 dollars of course i got this with my credit card and i made payments on it but i was able to pay it off pretty fast again honestly you don't need any of this stuff you don't even need a camera you just need your phone if you want to start i recommend you start now with your phone and build up from that i wish i would have done that i feel like i've been wanting to start my youtube channel for so long it's been years and i'm actually kind of sad that it took me so long to start because it's been such a great amazing journey and i've learned so much so i know a lot of people get scared and shy and what are people gonna say and all of this stuff or i'm not ready i don't have the right equipment honestly just start on you will get better you will get better equipment honestly there's always room for more better better equipment so you're never gonna have the perfect equipment it's never gonna be the perfect time i literally started this in the before the panoramic if you know what i'm saying before everything shut down so it's never gonna be the right time but you just gotta make it work you just gotta start and do it and get it done um i got all my equipment i also had to get a laptop i didn't have a laptop but i actually got my laptop from facebook marketplace for like 300 dollars, and i got a macbook i use imovie which is free to edit your videos so you can literally start with that that's how i started my first video ever was actually me filling out my taxes which now that i think about it i'm like what and it was crazy because i wasn't even able to fill out my taxes so it was kind of a fail of a video but you know what my first videos were all videos of things that i have always wanted to do and i hadn't done before and i did so many cool things and i had so much fun with it honestly i didn't care about what people wanted to see for my channel i just did what i wanted to do and what made me happy and i just put out content that i love and i am so happy that i did that because it set the standard 
for me to only do things that I want to do and I love. I never want to make a video that I'm not happy about or that I don't want to do or you know like who I don't want to make videos that I don't like. I want to make videos that I love. I want to do things that I love. So that is what I'm doing right now. So please do things that you love. Do if you want to do trendy videos, go ahead and do trendy videos, but make sure you love those trendy videos cuz you never want people to like you for something that you're not. Cuz then they're always going to expect that and then you're going to hate your content and you're going to hate what you do because you're doing something for other people and that is truly the worst thing. Doing things for other people is it's a no no up in this house. No, we don't do that. Um I started with posting three videos every single week which can be a lot for someone. I did it for like 6 months straight. Um, I posted three videos every single week and it was very tiring. I st even now, I'm trying to do it now because you know what? I, I like the consistency. I like putting out videos. I want to be in everybody's mind at all time, every single day. I literally just got done filming a video and now I'm filming another video right now. So it's, it's a little tiring sometimes, but you know what? That's what you got to do. I've learned in this year that consistency is key. If you keep posting and if you keep working hard every day, just reminding people that you're still on YouTube that you're still making videos people will eventually start to watch your channel YouTube will start to realize oh shoot they are really trying to get monetized oh my god they're actually still posting videos let me push their push their videos to the algorithm let me push them to other people's feeds you know once you start posting more especially if you have a niche 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 YouTube loves that YouTube loves that if you're into makeup and you just keep posting 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 but they're gonna realize eventually that oh whoa all her videos are kind of the same let me start you know let me start pushing them into the algorithm that's kind of what happened with me I started making videos about Depop and one of the videos did really well and I was like oh my god people like this stuff let me make more and I started making more and more and more now when I post a video about Depop it YouTube will push it out because they know that people like those the videos that I make about Depop so it'll push them out my other videos forget it they, they don't do that well that trust nothing like it's just crickets crickets but my Depop videos amazing kind of sad so it makes me a little bit sad because I wish that other people like my other content like home decor I love home decor love it but people love my Depop videos more so I I make I love Depop don't get me wrong I love the platform I love making the Depop videos so I'm not mad about it but can y'all like my other content too I would really appreciate that um because there's so many Depop videos you can make that's the thing like there's only so many I can make like I can't keep making Depop videos what I, I'm literally talking about the same thing over and over like I don't I don't know what to do anymore but yeah uh, those videos did really well my most popular video right now is at 19k uh, views 919 I'm sorry 96k views which is insane 96 thousand people have seen my face I think that is absurd like that should be illegal it, it <laughs> I can't. I got monetized in October. I'm kind of just like stating facts up in here. I got monetized in October, which was the day of uh, my, October 4th, which was my birthday. I think literally the universe was like this. We need to do this for her. Biggest birthday present ever. It was a long way. I honestly thought that I only had six months to get monetized. So I was set on getting monetized in September. And I was like, I'm going to get monetized in September. September 9th. Because I need to. I'm going to. I have Now I'm going to have to start over. And I was just freaking out. But then I I realized that I had 12 months to get monetized and I was like oh wow like I've been stressing out for nothing and then I got monetized in October it took me a month extra I guess but I literally thought it was only six months but if you didn't know it's 12 months and you know so much can happen in 12 months you can get monetized in 12 months you just have to push 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 out content and promote it and talk about it and just it just literally manifest it like literally talk about it and put it out into the universe and I swear promise you you will get monetized like it i'm telling you when you love something when you put your mind to something when you're like this is gonna happen i'm gonna do this it's gonna happen it's gonna a hundred percent a hundred percent so i got monetized in october i got my first youtube paycheck in december december 21st we'll never forget that day i actually took a screenshot and sent it to my mom i was so proud it was a hundred a hundred and seventy four dollars i think it was i don't even remember how much how much it was but it was a paycheck for october and november because then 
October, I didn't meet my mark of money. Um, I only made like $74 that month. So YouTube will only pay you once a month and you have to have made at least $100 that month in order for them to pay you. If not, it rolls over to the next month. So I made $105, I think, in November. And then in October, I made $74. So they put all of that together and they sent that to me in December. So you get it like a month later. I've gotten a December paycheck, a January paycheck, and a February paycheck. Three paychecks, I guess. Um, and so far, just for reference, uh, I've made, just so you guys know, from October, so October, November, December, January, February, so five months. In five months of consistent, or since I got monetized, I have made a whopping $617. So basically, just now I've been able to pay my Sony camera. <laughs> I've made enough to pay for my camera but this is my thing if you get monetized and you keep working see now you have money to buy a camera so you can just start out with your phone and then get a camera isn't that great I I know that $600 might be a lot for some people and then for some people it might not be too much for me it's a great achievement that's $600 I didn't have before and I've used those $600 to buy more things to make more content um, I haven't necessarily kept any of it I think it just has all gone back into to YouTube and it's also ha helped me pay like my bills and stuff like that just because since I do want to do YouTube full-time I have a couple of days off for my job I only work on my job like four to three days my pay is pretty good so I'm able to do that I only work like 20 hours a week but then I also need that extra cushion you know what I'm saying to to be able to pay for my bills and support myself because this you know being an adult and paying for bills is not a joke anyways but yeah that is pretty much how my year Year has gone I am super excited to see where I'm going to be in the next year um, if you have any questions about getting monetized or anything like that I do have a whole playlist on monetization my first YouTube paycheck also how to make money as a small youtuber um, if you want to check that video out and other types of videos if you have any questions though you can check the playlist out or you can leave them down in the comment section I am always happy to help you can also reach me out at on Instagram the link will be in the description if you want to check it out you can DM me, ask me any questions whatsoever. If you have any questions about YouTube or you just want to you just wanna talk, go ahead and DM me. I'll be happy to help you and happy to talk to you. I love you guys so freaking much. I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much to everyone who has been here since day one. And if you're new, thank you so much for joining the family. Your support means the world to me. You guys don't understand how much this means to me. This is something that I've always wanted to do and... I am just so happy that I am doing it right now. Um, so yeah, I just want to say thank you. I am extremely grateful for all of you. So yeah, definitely if you like videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. I love making videos about YouTube and how you can do it too and to help you guys out. Subscribe, help a girl out, stay, join, join the family, join, join the YouTube, you know. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. I love you guys so freaking much and I'll see you on my next video.